Studio Cart is one of my very favorite new tools for building a WordPress sales funnel. It's a plugin, plugs right into WordPress and does a great job. And so I'm excited to show it to you today. If you're not familiar, my name is Steve Schramm. The channel is Funnel Talk, and I help you build high converting sales funnels on WordPress. Many people don't realize that it's possible to do that. You don't have to have all these other systems that people always talk about. You can do it right there on WordPress where you own your own data and you can use it to create something really, really beautiful, especially if you integrate Studio Cart with the Divi Builder, which is my preferred um, page builder theme that I like to use. Now, there's a lot that could be said here. I'm not going to show you how to integrate those two today. We're going to do that in a later video. For today, what I simply want you to see is how easy it is to create a product and upsells in Studio Cart. So here we are inside of Studio Cart, as you can see. So first, obviously, you'll have to get a license key for Studio Cart. Go to studiocart.co and download uh, a license for that and purchase it and get it installed on your WordPress. I'm not going to cover that part of it. But once you're installed, you're going to come right here to Studio Cart products and you're going to add a new product. All right. Now, you can obviously give this product whatever name you would like it to be right here and you can add other information about it here. There are default pages that Studio Cart has, so you don't have to use the plugins that are available for page builders like Divi or Elementor, but they do make those available. Okay, so you can use themes with those and use those plugins or you can use their product page layout, which is what you would do if you didn't have um, a, a page builder plugin like that. All right. So we're going to create a product here. We're going to call it my awesome, my awesome product. Okay. That's it. We could do a public product name if we wanted to make that something different. Again, here we can start with some of the page design settings because they give us a nice default page that we can use if we want to, but we're not concerned with that for this video. Page access. Do we want to limit product sales? Do we want to define when the cart opens and closes? This is a super helpful feature to have included right here, especially if you're selling something like information products. Now, to be honest, if you're doing e-commerce, let's say, I still think that cart flows as of right now is probably a better sales funnel plugin if what you're trying to do is do e-commerce. But uh, And this works with e-commerce, but maybe just not as well. But if you're trying to do training products or info products, really, of any kind, I think that um, Studio Cart stands out. So let's go here and fix my spelling error. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I, I think that Studio Cart definitely stands out if you're trying to do info products. So with that said, you can do cart opens, cart closes. You can change the display messages, etc. Payment plans. Okay, you can set so many different kinds of payment plans if you want to. You could say, is it on sale? Do I want to schedule that? If I go here to add new, I can call this whatever. I can call this monthly. And I can say that instead of a one-time payment, this is going to be a recurring payment. It's going to be $50. And we're going to pay monthly. Okay? Pay monthly. Um, you can make it different for on sale versus regular. See? It's so flexible. Um, the number of payments. Okay? So you can make it three easy payments, right? Of, uh, of you know, here we go, $49.99, right? Um all the flexibility you have with this plugin is just is just really incredible. Okay, if there's a free trial, boom, right there. You know how hard some platforms make it just to give a free trial. Right here, there it is. Boom, you just put in the number, and there is your free trial. Okay, um, and so we're good there. So now we move to the next one, and uh oh, requires field missing. Okay, uh, oh, okay. So now that I've changed the payment structure, I need to say something like this: one payment of of uh, uh, actually. Let's be consistent. Three payments of $49.99. Boom. There we go. That's that. Okay. Payment methods. Cash on delivery, Stripe, PayPal. I can enable all of those. I can go change my settings and do some different ones if I wanted to there. We're not going to do that for right now. If you want to change the fields, so maybe you want to accept more or less information, um, you could totally change all of that here. And if you want to add custom fields, you can add custom fields right there as well. Quick functionality you note, know, if you do something right here and decide, if, so if you say add, for example, and you decide now that you didn't want to add that and you try to move on to the next page, it's not going to let you. You have to come right here and say remove. Pretty much anytime you open a button up right here, if you don't enter information there and you want to move on to the next thing, you have to say remove right there. Just a little quick tip. 
We could do coupons if we want to. Okay, great. So that's all the main stuff. Now we move into like order bumps and upsells, etc. All right. So I don't have any other products created at this point in time. And so in order to add an order bump or to add upsells or to add, uh, well, either of those, what I'm going to have to do is go out and create a second and or third product. So why don't we do this? Why don't we save this draft? And now what we'll do is go back and we'll, let's create two more products. Okay, we're going to call this one second awesome product. Can't type today, apparently. And let's at least go right here and add a payment plan. We'll just keep it really simple for now. Test one-time payment of $20. And we do want to publish that. And we'll come right here and add a second one. And we're going to say third awesome product. And we will give this one a payment plan. Test and test of $100. Perfect. Publish that. Okay. So now we're going to return to our original product. Here we go, my awesome product. And then we maybe want to add some upsells. Now, for the first upsell, let's ignore an order bump for right now. We don't want to do an order bump for this one. Uh, I do have another video that you can check out in the description below that explains how to do an order bump here on Studio Cart. But for this purpose here, we're just going to do upsells. Okay, so once we're here on our upsell page, what we have to do is select the product that we want to upsell. To. So we do uh, let's say second awesome product. And again, we can define the price here if we want to as well. And so we'll say that is $20. Now display type. Okay. We're either going to do an upsell offer page or we're going to do a another page. So here's what has to happen. If you do an upsell offer page, you have to go back out of here and specifically create an upsell page. And just to show you that, if we come right here, you see you have upsell offers right here. So you actually have to create an upsell offer page if you're using the default studio cart template. However, if you're using a page builder, as I recommend that you do, you don't do that. What you do is say display type page, but then what you have to do is select the page where that upsell lives. So you define a page where that upsell will go. You use the studio cart module in order to put that project into there and you don't have any problems, okay? So that's where it's going to go. So for that purpose, we're actually not even going to be able, I don't think, to move forward with uh, showing you the upsell uh, because I'm not going to be able... Well, what we'll do is we'll just select a page anyway, okay? So that's what we'll do. We'll say enable upsell. We'll select whatever, just any page. We're going to say it's the account page. It doesn't really matter for our purposes of this. Just know that you would have to create your own page if we weren't just testing it out here. And finally, it gives you this accept link and this decline link. This is so that you can create buttons on your page and link those buttons to this particular links. This one is going to move people to the next phase of the funnel, this one is going to move people um, to the next phase of the funnel if they decline, okay? So um, in, in, in an example with two upsells, the decline link might take you right to the checkout page, whereas the accept link takes you to upsell number two. So let's go to the second upsell. So now enable upsell two. Now this one gets a display rule, okay? So now the question here is, do we want to do always? Do we want to do when the previous offer was declined or when the previous offer was accepted? So this is conditional logic, okay? So if I say only display this when the – so if this was a um, an upsell, uh, they're calling it an upsell, but let's say that we wanted it to be a downsell. We could say only show after the previous offer was declined, okay? So in funnel logic, right, let's say that the first upsell was the $100 product, but if they decline the $100 product, maybe that's too expensive, but they might get the $20 add-on. So we only want to show upsell number two, which is technically a downsell, um, as only if the previous offer was declined, okay? So if your second offer, if you're trying to do a downsell, your second offer is almost always going to be cheaper than your first one, and you're going to choose that declined. Otherwise, you want to choose accepted. Or maybe always. Maybe you just always want to show it, and that's fine. Okay? So then you select your product. So this is going to be third awesome product. And price, again, $100. And the display type, once again, you have to choose a page. 
And so you see, if you do upsell offer page, um, and once you choose that, so if I go, let's see, if I go back to default, okay, you get um, these other options here that you have to go ahead and fill in again because you're defining the default. Uh, excuse me, you're defining the default page. You can actually preview this here to see what it would look like, and. Okay, so that's just the default thing that they give you there. But again, we're going to choose a page because we want to use a page builder eventually. And then there's our accept link and our decline link. Now, one more thing I want to show you before wrapping this video up. And that is uh, something that has to do with Studio Cart in general. Okay, so again, we can come here and confirm our order confirmation page. We can check our notifications to make sure people are being notified. But the integrations is really where it's at. Um, Studio Cart is primarily an integration plugin with sales funnel functionality, which is fantastic because that means whether you have WooCommerce or you have um, MemberPress or you have an email automation tool like Fluent CRM, you can use this plugin to use your tags and everything to put customers where they need to go and to integrate them together. So for example, if you're selling info products, like a membership site, you can handle all of your payment and everything right here in Studio Cart and just simply tell them uh, tell MemberPress that once a person has gone through the Studio Cart funnel and paid, that they should be added to a particular membership on MemberPress. So you would just say add new and you select your service from what is installed. So if it's MemberPress, so what you're going to do is you're going to say, what's the trigger? Well, as soon as the product is purchased on any payment plan, what we're going to do is start membership or we could end membership. And then we choose the membership. Of course, I don't have one available here. But you would choose it, and then you could choose if we want um, Studio Cart to handle the new user um, information as well as the welcome email information. Okay, and then you just add whatever integrations you need to make it work. So for purposes of this, I'm going to go ahead and remove this integration. Um, but I did just want to show you that. All right. Well, for now, that's what I have to show you about Studio Cart. I hope you find it to be a useful plugin that helps you create great sales funnels here on WordPress. I'll say one more time. If you're using information products in your sales funnels, totally would recommend Studio Cart. It's a great buy and really uh, has been great for me so far. And so I'm sure it will be great for you as well. Thank you again for joining us here on Funnel Talk. You can actually purchase Studio Cart if you would using my affiliate link. It really helps out the channel. If you do that, I have a free gift I want to give you. Um, and that free gift is going to teach you how to build sales funnels using Divi and WordPress. I'll shoot you a login for that in email if you will simply use my affiliate link and then send me an email to let me know that you did. All right. God bless. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.